We all know Minister Rice, when he gets the word, he's straightforward. Amen. He don't veer to the left, and he don't veer to the right. Even though he may look at faces and see, well, the word is hitting kind of tight. Let's take it on that way. Yeah. He takes the word straight ahead. Amen. God gives him the word, and that's the way he brings it. Amen. And that's the way I'm going to give him to you now. Yeah. Our assistant pastor, Minister Rice. Amen. Let us first say amen. How many of you know God is still in the blessing business? Yeah. If you know in the blessing business, church and say, Amen. Yeah. God is good. God is good. Amen. We 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 serve a, a true and a living God. Amen. Amen. Be not deceived. The Bible said, try the spirit by the spirit. You'll be, you'll be seated. Amen. The Bible teaches us to try the spirit by the spirit. Oh, he said, be not deceived. Thank the gospel. Oh, God is good. It truly a blessing and an honor to be here with you this day. God have a word today, church. And I pray that this message be a blessing unto you. Amen. Turn with me, church, to 2 Timothy 4, verses 1 through 5. Second Timothy 4. Verses 1 through 5. And I'll be reading from the King James Version. And the Word of God reads as print. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing in his kingdom. Preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lust, Shall they heat themselves, teachers, having itching ears? And they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall turn unto fable. But watch thou in all things, endure affliction, do the work of an evangelist, Make full proof of thy ministry. You may be seated. Amen. Let's use for a subject today. Tell to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God. <laughs> That's all right. Amen. To tell the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. Uh, we are familiar with that term. Uh, when people go into the courthouse. Uh, the judge asks the person to stand and, and put their hand on the Bible. And then they ask the person to raise the hand. And they say, oh, do you promise to tell the truth? And then they say, the whole truth and nothing but the truth will help you, God. Amen. But today our subject is to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. Amen. So help me, God. And this goes in reference to when a person preaches the word of God. 
You have to tell the truth Amen. and nothing but the truth. Uh, because just like I said a little while ago, I signed a contract with a man named Jesus. And church, when you sign a contract, uh, that is an agreement. Uh, how many of you today done signed a contract with a man named Jesus? We see here this day in the scripture, it says, I charge. Paul underscores the importance of his command to Timothy. By calling on God and Jesus to be a witness to him. He reminds Timothy that Jesus will return uh, in judgment. Paul charged to Timothy is to preach the word of God. Uh, the foundation of any ministry is God's word. Uh, preaching God's truth is sacred and a demanding task. Uh, requiring perseverance and courage. Uh, be ready, my brothers. Mean to stand, to take a stand. Uh, Timothy was to be alert at all times to his responsibility. Uh, when, even when it was inconvenient. Uh, this type of ministry is not for the novice. Uh, long suffering and teaching, uh, patience and instruction are two ne necessary components of oh, an effective ministry. Uh, spiritual growth occurs over a period of time through constant teaching and application of God's Word. Mm, what is the matter of this charge? He is charged, my brothers and sisters. Oh, uh, when you have a charge, it is more than a command. Uh, a charge is very intensive. Uh, I stopped by today. Have God put a charge on your life? Oh, uh, we see. To preach the word, this ministry, business, uh, dispensation is committed to them. It is not their own notion and fantasy that they are to preach, but the pure, plain word of God. They must not corrupt it. But as of sincerity, but as God of, of God in the insight of God, they speak in Christ. Second Corinthians two and seventeen. It says to urge what he preach, to press it with all urgency upon his hearers. My brothers and sisters, to, to be instant in season and out of season. Well, well. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort. This, this, this call upon, uh, call under that charge to take heed of sin. Uh, to do that duty. Call upon them to repent and believe. To live a holy life. This is both in season and out of season. My brothers and sisters, we need this day. He must tell the people of their faults. Oh, a lot of people don't like correction. But how can they hear without a preacher? Oh, reprove them. Rebuke them. Convince, convince wicked people of each evil and danger of, of their wicked. Oh, my brothers and sisters, by, by dealing plainly with them to bring them to repentance. 
rebuke them with gravity and authority. And in Christ's name, that they may take thy displeasure against them as an indication of God's displeasure. Oh, he must be direct. The preacher must be direct. Oh, the pastor must be direct. Encourage and quicken those who begin well. Amen. Exhort them, my brothers and sisters. Well, well. Persuade them to hold on to a man named Jesus. Oh, uh, to endure until the end. Uh, uh, not to give up. Uh, with long suffering and doctrine. Mm, with all long suffering. My brothers and sisters, it is very, very important. We must endure until the end. Amen. Uh, he said the preacher, he must watch in all things, seeking opportunity of doing them uh, of kindness. Let no fair occasion slip through thy negligence. Watch to thy work. Watch against the temptation of Satan, by which thou may be diverted from it. Watch over the souls of those who are committed to thy charge. Oh, he must count upon all the, 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 the afflictions, my brothers. And endure them. Uh, make make best of them. And he said, do the work of an evangelist. Uh, the office of the evangelist was as the apostles' duties to water the churches that they planted. They were not settled pastors, but for some time reside in and presided over the churches that the apostles had planted till they were settled under a, a standing ministry. This was Timothy work. Oh, uh, he must fulfill his ministry. Make full proof of it. Oh, uh, it was a great trust that that was reposed in him. And therefore he must answer it and perform all the parts of his office Amen. with diligence and care. Oh, uh, my brothers. Oh, uh, I, I will tell you this day. Oh, uh, when a preacher preach. Oh, uh, when a uh, pastor preaches. You always line up what they say with the word of God. Amen, amen, amen. You have to line it up for yourself. Yes, yes. Uh, the preacher supposed to stand on God's word amen. at all costs. Yes, yes. Uh, God is looking for his preachers to stand bold. Uh, the main mission of Satan is to shut the preacher up. Oh, uh, we see this day uh, that the word of God said, preach the word. It, it, he said, preach the word today. But I stopped by to tell somebody, it is a disturbing spirit to see preachers and pastors who stand before they even get started with the word of God. Uh, he says, I hate to tell you, uh, but I have to. Right. Let me say that again. It is a disturbing spirit yes. to see the man of God stand and who ought to be standing on the word of God. Before he even start preaching, he said, I hate to tell you, but I have to. Oh, uh, I stopped by to tell somebody. Oh, uh, I stopped by to tell someone who may be tuning in on the internet. 
Oh, your spirit had just been compromised by Satan. Oh, before you even have gotten started with the word of God, Satan has zapped some of your anointing. Mm, you are taking people's feelings into consideration instead of taking your full directive from God. Who? So, so who feeling you are going to put first? When you put God feeling first, or when you put man feeling first? Uh, God called a preacher to preach. Oh, uh, when God told Moses to go tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Oh, uh, Moses, he wasn't messing around. He said, God told me to tell you to let my people go. Oh, uh, when the preacher stand, the preacher has to stand bold. Oh, uh, we see, we see that Jesus was talking to a certain Pharisee. And Luke 13 and 32. And Jesus told a certain Pharisee, and he said unto him, Go ye, tell that fox. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. He didn't tell him to stumble in what he said. He said, You go tell that fox. Behold, I cast out Bill. Yes. Uh, I do curse today and tomorrow. And, I, and the third day I shall, I shall be perfect. Whatever God has for you to say, you hear with a slash hammer. Yes. Oh, we got too many people compromising the word of God. Yeah. The Bible said, preach the word in season and out of season. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and the Bible said, be compassionate. Then yeah, you be compassionate. Oh, but whatever God tell you to do, you do it. Uh, tell the truth and nothing but the truth preacher Amen. Uh, when you stand for the Lord and you tell the truth and nothing but the truth yes, yes. Uh, some people you know and the world will hate you uh, when one preach the true word of God and tell the truth and nothing but the truth. Uh, many will, will, will laugh and grin in your face and talk about you like a dog behind your back. Uh, when, 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 when you tell the truth and, and nothing but the truth, uh, people will despise you. Uh, when you tell the truth and nothing but the truth, uh, people will persecute you. But the way my God said, preach the word, be in season and out of season. Uh, to tell the truth. Who's going to tell the truth for the Lord? Oh, uh, because the Bible said, for time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Uh, but after their own lust, Shall they heat themselves, them death themselves, teach and have it? It is. Oh, who got some engineers today? Oh, somebody on the internet may have some engineers. Oh, uh, they, they want they want that, they want that, they want to shut the preacher up. Yes, I understand. Amen. Engineers. God word cut deep. God's word is powerful. Yes, yes, it is. Come on, if you ain't right, God's word will cut you up. Amen. Amen. Uh, the preacher, he was hired by God and not by me. Amen. Uh, the Spirit of the Lord came unto me and said, Preach my word. Oh, uh, the Spirit of the Lord came to me and said, uh, A man did not hire you, and man can't hire you. Oh, uh, when, you, when you tell the truth, and nothing but the truth, uh, the world 
will hate the man of God. Because the Bible says in John 15, 19 to 20, it says, if ye were out of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world will hate you. Yes, yes, yes. Remember us. The Bible says, the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. Right. If they have persecuted me, mm -hmm. they will also persecute you. Uh, if they have kept my sin, uh, they will keep yours also. Yes, yes. Uh, they persecuted my Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Oh, uh, they persecuted the one who stood for the Lord. They persecuted the apostles. They persecuted the disciples. Uh, when you stand for God, somebody ain't gonna like it. But uh, you gotta make up your mind. Are you gonna please God? Or are you gonna please me? Uh, folks are laughing and grinning in your face. And talk about you like a dog behind your back. Yes, yes. Oh. But, the, but the word I say when you feel weary. Yes. First Corinthians 15 and 58. It says, Therefore, my brethren, be, be, be steadfast, <laughs> unmovable, yes. always abounding in the work of the Lord. Yes. Oh, for as much as you know that your labor. Uh, and not in faith in the in, in the Lord. Uh, when, now if you if you working for the Lord, think of four. Yes, you keep holding on. Yes, you hear me? Think of one if you working for the Lord. You keep holding on. Yes, all right. As long as you stand on the word of God, uh, no man can bring you down. Yes, but when you stand on your own, Satan gonna eat you up. Oh, the Bible says, John 7 and 7, <laughs> the world cannot hate you, but me it hates, because I testify of it, All right. yes, yes. <laughs> that the work thereof are evil. Amen. Oh, when you hate the preacher, Amen. oh, you truly hate God. <laughs> oh, when you, when, you, when, you, when you hate the work of the preacher, oh, you don't hate that preacher. Oh, you hating God. <laughs> uh, hard times <laughs> call for hard preaching. Oh, uh, the Bible tells me, that be not afraid of the basis preacher. Ah, uh, for I am with thee, <laughs> said the Lord. Uh, then the Lord put, put forth his hand, his hand touched my mouth. And, and the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. Oh, uh, when you mess with the preacher. Oh, uh, when you mess with the pastor. Uh, everybody stand in the pulpit ain't a pastor. Um, but when you mess with a true man of God, oh, you messing with a dangerous thing. Amen. Amen. Oh, the Bible said, touch not my anointed. Oh, do my prophet no harm. Oh, when you mess with uh, what belongs to God, oh, you are dealing with a dangerous thing. Oh, preacher. When the preacher tells the truth, and nothing but the truth, uh, they have sold out for God. Yes. Uh, as they preach the word, be instant in season and out of season. Um, reprove, rebuke, exhort with, with all long suffering and doctrine. Uh, but but first, first Thessalonians 2, 4 through 6 says, but as we were allowed of God, to be put in trust with the gospel, even so we speak, not as pleasing man. That's what the Bible says. It said, it said, not as pleasing man, but God, 
when it's tried our heart. Right. Yes, yes. Oh, sometimes folks don't like what the preacher says. But, but a true man of God can his directed from God. Then it said, neither, the Bible said, neither at any time use flattering words. Flattering words. That's that, that, that what's wrong with folks. Uh, they, they want semicolon words instead of the straight words. That's what the Bible said. It said, neither at any time we, 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 we use we flattering words. Don't a pig on any word, preacher. No, a cloak of covenants. God is witness. That's what the Bible says. Oh, my brothers and sisters. Oh, if Jesus had preached and stood like so many preachers today who call themselves preachers, Oh, he never would have been crucified. Oh, I'm going to tell you something. If Jesus had preached like some of these preachers are preaching today, I believe he never would have been crucified. Oh, my brothers and sisters, this is a sin, sick world. Oh, they want to take God out of the equation. Uh, it is sad to say that our country, uh, not too long ago, uh, the Democratic Party blew God. Uh, and, they, and they wanted to take his name out of the meetings. Uh, they took a vote three times in the Democratic House. Uh, and they denied him three times. Oh, uh, I just remember uh, the, they took a vote to keep God's name out of the Democratic Party. Oh, uh, I stopped by here to tell somebody who may be listening on the internet. Oh, uh, this world is on a roller coaster ride to hell uh, because you want to take God out of your equation. Oh, uh, three times they said no to God. In the Democratic Party. Oh, and at the last minute, they agreed to keep his name in the Democratic Party. Yes. Oh, the Bible says. But I stopped by here to tell somebody who may be tuning in on the internet. Oh, every knee must bow. Oh, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. God going to hold a preacher accountable for his actions. Oh, God won't get preacher to preach the word of God and tell the sensing world that for the wages of sin is death. Uh, but the gift of God is eternal life. Uh, teaching the birth, the burial, the resurrection, and the ascension of Jesus the Christ. Oh, preacher, you go tell them. Oh, tell my preachers uh, to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. Oh, the word of God came unto me to shout with some woman be tuning in on the internet. Oh, the, the Spirit of God said, uh, we have some good preachers who are truly standing on my word. Oh, uh, but they are being hit from the left and from the right. Uh, they have been put down and they have been talked about. Oh, uh, you tell those preachers, uh, they have endured affliction. Standing and leaning and pinning on Jesus the Christ. Oh, uh, when you stand for the Lord and, and, and preach the gospel, uh, sometimes your spouse, sometimes your children, sometimes your family, sometimes your loved one, sometimes the congregation and the world will go against you. Uh, you go tell those preachers, 
Oh, who's standing on my word? Tell them, tell them I am well pleased uh, with the one who are truly standing on my word. Amen. And, and I am pleased that they are not compromising my word. Oh, my brothers. Oh, but the Spirit of the Lord came unto me. It said, it said, preacher, you go tell my preachers. And the one who say that they are a preacher. Yes. Uh, stop by to tell you and the world. Uh, everyone who say that they are a preacher uh, is still not a preacher. Amen. Amen. Uh, this, this world is full of counterfeiters. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, who refuse to preach the sound doctrine of God. Uh, they, they, they have called and sent themselves yeah. instead of taking their instruction from God. Yeah. Uh, you go tell them the truth. Yeah. And nothing but the truth. Uh, for the one who are not true unto me, uh, tell them, preacher, I am not pleased. Uh, tell them that I can I can see them compromising my word yes, yes. to put a dollar in their pocketbook. Uh, some have have heavy ties uh, in their congregation, and we are not cross the line for 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 the Lord and rebuke sin. Uh, tell them, preacher. Uh, I see others are misleading my flock. Uh, tell them, preacher, uh, I see them raping men, women, boys, and girls. Uh, uh, they, are, they are sleeping with the women in my congregation uh, and, and, and spreading babies throughout my congregation. Instead of spreading my word throughout my congregation. Oh, for many are called, but few are chosen. Oh, you, 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 you not chosen when you do not stand on the word of God. Oh, some stand in the pulpit. And refuse to say Jesus the Christ. Amen. Uh, they stand and, and talk for hours. And, and talk in a general conversation. And do not use not one supporting scripture. What say what thus saith the Lord. Uh, you tell them who may be tuning in on the internet preacher. Oh, uh, you standing in my pulpit and you preaching watered down gospel. Amen. Uh, you tell them I have my eyes on them, preacher. Right. Yes. Because the Bible says, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Right. Right. But after their own lust yes. shall they heat themselves teaching. I have it itching in. Oh, my brothers. Oh, ye shall not add unto the word which I command you. That in Deuteronomy 4 and 2, it says, Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you. Neither shall ye diminish all from it that ye keep the commandment of the Lord your God which I command you. Oh, we got some preachers. They want to tip around the Bible. Yeah. They want to add what they want to add. Yeah. They don't want to go straight down the Bible and tell what God said. Yeah. But the Bible says, do not add, nor take away from my word. Yeah. Oh, preacher, ask them a question. Why are you not willing to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Well. Oh, Preachers who are supposed to be preaching the word in season and out of season. The one who supposed to be, so who supposed to be standing for God 
and standing against God. Oh, preacher, you you tell them. I see church leaders who supposed to be standing on my word, being my spokesman. Some are in the pulpit, leading many down the road of unrighteousness. Uh, supporting same-sex marriages. Uh, the, the, the reason so many are supported because many are probably living that same life, that same lifestyle. Yes, yes. Uh, the Bible says, Leviticus 20 and 13, if a man also lies with mankind as he lied with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. Amen. That's what the Bible says. Yes, yes. They shall surely be put to death. Yes, yes. Uh, their blood shall be upon them. Uh, we have some pastors in Washington State. And they are on posters and, and billboards supporting same-sex marriages. Leading a congregation down a path of unrighteousness. Well, well. well, who is going to preach the word of God? Who is going to preach it in season and out of season? Amen. Uh, we have them telling them on these posters and on the television commercials uh, saying that we are all God's children to justify their action. Uh, this is a lie. My brothers and sisters, if you don't know it, but if you don't know it, you know it now. Everybody is not God's children. We are all God's creation. But we are not all God's children. Because the Bible said in Genesis 1 and 27, so God created man in his own image. Uh, in the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. That's what the Bible says. Oh, but God said, tell them, preacher. Jeremiah 23, 1 through 2. Woe, and woe is a warning. Woe be unto the pastor that destroy and scatter uh, the sheep of my pastor, said the Lord. Therefore, that the Lord said, God of Israel against the pastor that he, my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your daughter, said the Lord. When you have a pastor, when you have a preacher who is truly standing on the word of God, you're not compromising the word of God. You should support that man. Oh, preacher, you go tell them. Tell my flock, the ungodly one who are having babies uh, out of wedlock. Uh, the ones who are having sex before marriage. The ones who are sleeping around on their spouse. Uh, preacher, you, you, you tell the ones who are practicing witchcraft. Yes. The backsliders. Amen. The hell raisers. Amen. The, in, the incest. Uh, I have my eyes on you. Uh, 1 Corinthians 9. 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 10. He said, uh, the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. He said, but know ye uh, that the righteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor an infinite, nor an abuser of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covenant, nor drunken, nor revile, nor ex 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 
in us. Shall we inherit the kingdom of God? So if you're shacking, you better stop shacking and start living for God. But who's going to stand on the word of God? The Bible is for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believed in him should not perish. Oh, but have everlasting life. The Bible says, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn this world. But to him, oh, oh, we, you might be saved. God has a mission for his creatures. The preachers who who preach the word of God, who stand on the word of God, they will be talked about. They will be persecuted. They will be lied on. Their name will be drugged through the mud. But the ones who are preaching feel-good messages, yes, yes. the itching ear messages, yeah. uh, they have a packed house. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do, but I tell you, if the packed house, ain't nothing wrong with having a packed house congregation. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But I tell you one thing, if that preacher preach uh, and rebuke sin, I bet I, I, I bet he gonna lose a member. Amen. He gonna lose a member. Amen. Most of them preach about prosperity. Ain't nothing wrong with prosperity. Amen. God wants us to be prosperous. Yes, yes. God wants us to be blessed. Yes, he because he said, I will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. That you will not have room to receive. Yes, but I tell you what, if he had if that preacher do a hundred and eighty degree to turn, and he started preaching about uh, the, the 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 hypocrite, if he started talking about the stiff necks, yes, if he started talking about incest, yes. if he started talking about the adulterers, if he started talking about the shackers, yes, if he started talking about the blasphemers. Yes. And he said, all have sinned yes. and come short to the glory of God. Yes. But the gift of God is eternal life. Yes. And he said, my people yes. are called by my name. Yes. Return from yes. their wicked ways. Yes. I will come and give them a hill. Yes. Uh, they don't want to hear that. Yes. They don't want to hear that. Yes. They don't want to hear that. Yes. They will hear me all right. God understands. Now God don't understand. He don't understand. But he has given you everything. He gave us his best. He gave us heaven's best. So we should do our best. When the preacher preach and the preacher teach, always line it up with the word of God. And for someone on the internet, maybe, maybe, maybe tuning in. When the preacher preach and the preacher teach, you always line up every preacher word with the word of God. Because you got to die for yourself. Let us stay.